Uh, good morning. God bless you guys. In the name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. It is April 23rd. And uh, time is 748. God bless. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Okay, you guys. I had somebody, just one person, saying about how they feel like they're under attack a lot. I think a lot of us are feeling that way, man. And it's normal. I printed out some of the scriptures, man. And listen, if they if we weren't under attack, I would be a little bit concerned. What, I mean, stop and think about it. Satan makes war with those who keep the commandments of God and our testimonies of Jesus Christ. So if you're not having attacks, I would be concerned about that. You know, and sometimes these attacks, you guys, they're not always just dreams at night. They can be during the time while you're awake, how you're feeling. You know, you got to grab hold of your uh, thoughts. You know, yes, you can have attacks even with your thoughts. These things are going on. A lot of people have no idea the real, how real it is, Okay. Um, I get it all the time. I've been getting it and it didn't start for me until I refused the money offers that they were coming at me with. That's when it started very uh, big, hard while I was awake, while I was asleep, my whole life, my business, everything was destroyed. But I also know I had to get into the word of God and read it and to understand God allows these things, just like Job. Look at what happened with Job. Why does he allow it? It makes us stronger in the Lord. And this life is temporary, man. It's temporary. We're passing through here. And God does. The word, you read it, it says he, he builds us back up, man. When he destroyed Israel several times, he built it back up. Sometimes you got to knock it all down and just start it all over, you know? This is what's getting ready to happen here now, you guys. This place has to be destroyed to start it clean again. Jesus ain't going to come here and rule for a thousand years with this kind of a mess. This place is a mess, and he's holy. He's holy. So this is what we're going, what we're going through for. Just don't forget that. Praise the Lord. Praise him for it because uh, otherwise, I man, I look at these people that are totally asleep, that don't even know what's about to happen. Wow. I wouldn't want to be them. You know, you're sitting in a pretty good spot. Don't forget that. You know, that's why it says test to see if you be of the reprobate. You know, chances are if you're watching this channel, I know you're not of the reprobate. I know you're awake. And I know you're probably having attacks. They're not always the dreams either. You can have them during the daytime. You know, a lot. You got to get a hold of them, these feelings that you get, you know. Anyhow, let's get with it. Matthews 10, 22, and you shall be hated. <laughs> get ready for this, you guys. It ain't started yet. It's going to get that way, even worse, especially for those that are left behind. <laughs> They're really going to be hated. For my name's sake. But he that endureth to the end shall be saved. So this sounds like something that's going to continue until we're out of here, man. I tell you, I've seen, I seen our faces, man, when we're leaving this place. Smiling, super huge. It's not possible to smile as big as I've seen it. Why in the world would you be smiling so much? To get out of this place because of the evil and the wicked that's here upon us right now. That's why you're going to be smiling like you ain't never smiled before. You're going to be glad. You ain't going to want to look back at this. You can't wait to get out of here now. Some of these people you meet and you witness to them, they, you tell them, man, we're at the end. The Lord's coming for us. And I'm older people. And they say, I hope not. I'm going, whoa. All right. I know what. I, I don't even have to ask these people. I already know. You know, these people, you know, they don't love the Lord. They love the world. Satan's the prince of this world. You can find out a lot about people, you guys, without even asking them a question. You tell them something, and then how they respond to it, 
tells me who they are. Guys, we're in a spiritual warfare. Don't forget that. Don't ever forget it. Okay? This hasn't been no pleasure cruise. You know, when I see people going on their pleasure cruises and stuff, wanting to, well, those are all canceled now, but I tell you, I could tell a lot. That's why it says test all spirits. You know who's who. You should. And remember this, few are we. Straight is the way and narrow, man. And few be there that find it. Because most people are, they like that Broadway, man. Like Hollywood. I'm going to be putting a link in here, man. I want you guys to check it out. Where it talks about they come out Hollywood with their flu shots. Get ready, Hollywood. Everyone's getting a flu shot. And then as they come out and they said, if you don't want one, just put a napkin on your face. You know, and this is about the DNA, you guys. These things that they're shooting up into your body. Let me, how long have they been given flu shots? About since they've been really, really trying to kill people? Last 150 years or so? I don't know. But that's your DNA, man. It's time to stop. If you've ever done it before, stop it. That's probably why we're giving some of these attacks right now, because of what we let in. We lit it in, taking flu shots, you know, and they were constantly trying to get this stuff in us, and now they've perfected it, and now they've got the one world thing. They've gotten everybody to that point now. Don't take it. All right. Matthews twenty four thirteen, But he that endureth to the end, the same shall be saved. Mark thirteen thirteen. And you shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. But he that endureth unto the end, the same shall be saved. 1 Corinthians 13, 7. Beareth all things charity, bringeth all things, hopeth all things, endureth all things. 2 Thessalonians. See, you guys, we're going to be going through things, even while we go through it. Keep your hope and your faith in the Lord, man. You know, these actually, this helps you to let go of this and focus more on the Lord when you're having these attacks. You know, it's kind of like what it says in Daniel 12, 10. Uh, Many will be tried and made white while the wicked continue to do wicked. And none of the wicked will understand, but the wise will. So you should clearly understand what's going on. It's not a pleasure, pleasure cruise, man. I told you it's been happening. <clears throat> I've shared a lot of uh, dreams the Lord has showed me. They've even come to pass. And then there's a lot of things I've shared um, about the attacks that I had in the beginning. They're not nearly as bad as they were, okay? They used to be, there were, some of them were really filthy, perversion and stuff like that, you know? You, just things I don't even really care to talk about. But I shared it. Why? So everybody would have an understanding. I don't go over every night. I, I've been having these attacks since I've started in 2014. I don't share them all. I only try to encourage people to, to endure all things until the end. All right, Second Timothy 2 and 3. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. Therefore, I endure all things for the elect's sake, that they may also obtain the salvation which is in Christ Jesus with eternal glory. Guys, when we see what we got coming here after this, you know, it's an eternity, you know, with our Lord and Savior, you know, but he does. He's got a place prepared for us. He, I've seen it. I even seen it. And I, at that time, I had a ladder, a huge ladder underneath my right arm, and I'm like, I didn't understand that, what the ladder was about, you know. But I had a ladder underneath my right arm as I, he showed me my place in the kingdom of heaven, you know. There's a tax going on to you guys. It just comes with it, okay. Remember, they, they, they killed our Lord and Savior. So don't, and it's like you said, don't think we're going to come out of this with nothing. They're going to hate us too, you know. I'd rather be where we're at than of the world. Where Satan's a prince of. Second Timothy four five. 
But watch thou in all things, endure afflictions, do the work of an evangelist, make full proof of thy ministry. So don't be surprised, you guys. Don't be surprised. James 1, 12. Blesses the man that endureth temptation, for when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord has promised to them that love him. You guys, it would be nice to see pretty dreams every night, you know, pleasant. Always peaceful and lovely, you know? That would be nice until we leave. <laughs> but, you guys, we're, woe into the heavens of the earth. If we would have known the truth a lot longer before this, you know, life's always been difficult here. But once I began to understand and know the truth, then it really poured on. It was like turning, opening up a faucet. You know, I mean, I had him talking to me in person, walking up to me, looking and trembling, walked up, looked in my eyes and trembled. I mean, I've, I've seen everything you could see here, you guys. They're here. And they, and they, they reveal themselves many times to me. They know I know. James chapter 5, 11. Behold, we count them happy which endure you have heard of the patience of Job and have seen the end of the Lord, that the Lord is very pitiful and tender mercy. Look at Job, how he was suffering through. Guys, what do you think we're going through? Why do you think that's even written in scriptures? Yeah. So we, we know where we set, right? We know where we set. So with that being said, First Peter chapter 2, verse 19. For this is thanks worthy. If a man for conscience towards God endureth grief, suffering wrongfully. Second Timothy 3, 12. Yeah. And all that will live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. Yeah, when you change your life over and you turn it over and you walk away from these things, it, sometimes it'll be more than just losing your job. It'll be, they'll constantly be coming against you. It could be your own family, man. You know, your own children, your husband, your wife, you know, hating you because you ain't the same person they used to know. Revelations 14, 12, 14. Here's the patient of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus Christ. And I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Right blessed are they, are the dead which die in the Lord from henceforth. Says the Spirit, that they may rest from their labors and their works do follow them. And I looked and behold a white cloud and upon that the cloud, one sat like unto the Son of Man, having on his head a golden crown, and in his head, hand a sharp sickle. First Peter, you see, you guys, everybody's going to go through this until we leave. You know, right now, there's people that are called foolish for, who knows, various reasons, you know. Maybe they weren't coming out doing what they're supposed to be, bold as they should ought to have been. Um... You know, maybe they went to work saying, well, you know, it doesn't belong on the job. Oh, it belongs on the job. Trust me, it belongs. If your body's a temple of God, and it is, and you go to the job and you say, well, it don't belong here, you could be saying, you know, meet you at the front door because I'm going in to go to work today and deal with the, with the world. And you don't warn anybody. I don't know. Yeah, I just know this. If you're on fire for the Lord, man, and you know what you know, how do you how do you contain that? I can't. I never was able to. I can't think of nothing else, talk of nothing else. This is it. All right, first Peter chapter four, twelve, thirteen. Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial which is to try you. As though some strange thing happened to you. But rejoice in as much you are partakers of Christ's suffering. That when his glory shall be revealed. You may be glad also with exceeding joy. 
okay? Right now, we don't think of these things because of what it's going through, and he knows it. But when he does appear, that's why we're going to be smiling bigger than anything I've ever seen before. It's not possible in a human form to smile as big as I've seen it. But our, we're going to be in our, we're going to be getting our eternal bodies. We're going to forever be with Christ after this. We'll never ever know or see what evil is anymore. You know, it'll all, everything will, and will be cleansed. We won't even remember this stuff. You know, yeah, I long to be out of here, man. First Peter, this this is what is happening to us. We're being purified, cleansed, made white. You got to get this stuff out of us, man. We've been living in a cesspool here. Beloved, think in that first Peter chapter four, twelve through nineteen. Beloved, think in that strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you, as though some strange thing happened to you, but rejoice in as much as you are partakers of Christ's sufferings. <coughs> when his glory shall be revealed, you may be glad also with exceeding joy. Okay, 14. If you be reproached for the name of Christ, happy are you. For the spirit of glory and of God resteth upon you. On their part he is evil spoken of, but on your part he is glorified. But let none of you suffer as a murderer or as a thief or as an evildoer or as a busybody in other men's matters. Yet if any man suffer as a Christian... Let him not be ashamed, but let him glorify in God on this behalf. For this time is come that judgment must begin at the house of God. And if it begin at us, what shall the end be that obey not the gospel? And if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinners appear? Wherefore, let them suffer according to the will of God. Commit the keeping of their souls to him in well-doing as a faithful creator. And then here, Revelations twelve seventeen, The dragon was wroth with the woman, and he went to make remnant, war with the remnant of her seed, which keep the commandments of God and are testimonies of Jesus Christ. So, 2 Corinthians 10, 4, 6. For the weapons of our warfare, they're not carnal. They're mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down the imaginations, every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Jesus Christ. See, on here, you won't hear me saying, if you even have a thought, you sinned. No, what I'm going to tell you is, you take those thoughts captive. Because it is true. If you dwell on those thoughts, and then you bring them to birth, like you keep dwelling on it lustfully, desiring it, then you're bringing it to birth. But when that thought appears, See, that's how we're having spiritual attacks. Even in your dreams, that's where we're taking them captive. And we bring them to the obedience of Christ. And we think on other things. You know, this is a war we're in, you guys. This is part of it, you know. Yeah, you will be tired. Because, uh, sadly, they just keep going on and on and on. They don't get tired. They just keep going. Okay? We get tired. We want to rest. We want to sleep. Sometimes it's hard to wake up and we just want to go back to sleep because we're not getting no rest, okay? But the Lord knows this. That's why it says many will be tried and made white. You just have to keep enduring and you don't take pleasure in it, you know? That's why it says this right here. And having a readiness to revenge all disobedience, all, when your obedience is fulfilled. 
that's when you don't have any more patience with the uh, um, evil doers and those that want to make excuses for sin, you know, because you, listen, that's why it says greater is he that abideth in us than what's in this world. Yeah, we might be tired, but we're fighting it as warriors of Christ. We don't entangle ourselves with the things of this world where they do. People that say they're sinning every day, well, you got to be really in this world of it, love of it, to do it. 1 Peter 3.17 For it is better if the will of God be so, that you suffer for well-doing than for evil-doing. 1 Peter chapter 4 For as much then as Christ has suffered for us in the flesh, arm yourselves likewise with the same mind. For he that has suffered in the flesh has seized from sin. You ain't going to hear that on once saved, always saved. Arm yourselves. Likewise, with the same mind. For he that has suffered in the flesh has seized from sin. That he no longer should live the rest of his time in the flesh to the lust of men but to the will of God. That's where we die to these things, you guys, you know? We don't do the things we used to do, man. We're ashamed of the things we once did. I'm still ashamed of them. Like, I wish, you know, I'm still ashamed of them. You don't hear that on once saved, always saved, that they're ashamed of the things that they did. But they will tell you they're, they're still sinning every day. They won't even warn you in the scriptures. They avoid most of these scriptures. They won't read any of them that I'm reading right now. They totally avoid them. All right. For the time past of our life may suffice us to have wrought the will of the Gentiles. When we walked in lovisciness, lust, excessive wine, revilings, banquets, and abominable idolatries, wherein they think it strange that you run not with them to the same excess that we once used to, they think that's strange of us now. They think we're crazy, actually. Uh, speaking evil of us, you know? That's why I say there was this, in the dream I had last night, I was in the back of a truck, and I was trying to warn the young kid that used to work with me. He's probably in his later 20s now. And uh, he couldn't hear me. They had the stereo up real loud, and um, I was trying to warn him, you know? And I couldn't, you know, there's people that just ain't receiving our message, you know. Who shall give account to him that is ready to judge the quick and the dead? For this cause was the gospel preached unto them that are dead. Preached also unto them that are dead. That they might be judged according to men in the flesh. But live according to God in the spirit. But the end of all things is at hand. Be ye therefore sober and watch unto prayer. And above all things, have fervent charity among yourselves. For charity shall cover the multitude of sins. You guys, this is only half of that chapter. Okay, I read from 1 to 8. In that. Okay, that was uh, 1 Peter chapter 4. It's a very, all of this. I just tried to get some scriptures really quick, you guys. Because it takes a while to cover a lot of stuff, you know, in 25 minutes, you know. Anyhow. Be bold, you guys. Be strong, you know. Yes, we're going to be tired. But we're getting near the uh, end of this, you guys. <coughs> we're getting near the end of it. Looks like we got some rain for about three days. I got to get off of here, you guys. It's going to take all day to load this up. Um, be strong in the Lord. And uh, know this. We're being tried. We're being made white. And uh, made, we're also getting to where we hate sin. We hate it. And we hate the flesh. We don't like this. You know, this is why, this is what separates us. Separates us from it. And we don't sit there and look and gloat like we're better than. 
we're just grateful that we're not what we once used to be, you know. And we tried telling these other people, you know, to warn them, you know, the times of that we're in. You know, we don't we don't warn them because we're glad and think we're better than we know we once were, going in the same course as everybody else. Anyhow, God bless you guys. I hope and pray that everybody receives a message from this. And uh, be strong in the Lord, okay? And watch. Spend more time listening to the Word of God and watching because He's revealing mighty things to us right now. Everything that you see is His doing. You know, remember it says the wicked will continue to do wicked, but none of the wicked will understand. They're doing God's will right now. Read that where it says the wicked will continue to do wicked, but none of the wicked will understand. Do you know why? Read Revelations seventeen, seventeen. God puts it in their minds and their hearts to do his will until the word be fulfilled. Everything's going to happen according to God's word. You know, these people, they've lived in pleasure. They've done what they wanted. They're all going to take their vaccines and they're going to continue doing what they're doing, man. You know, and they're going to hate us along the way. You know, but we're being born again. We're, we're hating this life, the flesh. You know, because we're going to be getting in our spiritual bodies and it's going to be beautiful, you know, but these things have to come about, you know, because you, otherwise you'd still love it here, you know. God bless you guys. I hope and pray everybody here receives a message from this. In Jesus' name.